So here, let's take a look at how to compress videos on your iPhone because you can easily just check it out in the gallery. So if you go to your photos in here, for example, this is a video of mine that I have in here. It's like an iPhone tutorial on my Instagram, which you can, of course, see on my Foxtag Instagram account. Anyway, you swipe up on the video, you can see camera information. Uh, in this case, I don't have anything in here. You can see the date time, but also the megabytes, the size of the file. In my case, it's 125 megabytes for a video, which is like kind of short, I would say. So it's 19 seconds and 125 megabytes. So let's take a look at how you can actually compress it. For this, you're gonna need to download a third party app. It's gonna be this one right here and you're gonna be able to find the link to this app down below in the description. So just tap on it and you can see that it literally asks to have access to your photos and videos so you need to have uh, or allow it so you're gonna go like this ask app not to track and select videos to compress so once you go here it's just gonna move on to your gallery so you're gonna click on videos or simply just locate any file that you want you can see in here that it literally tells me about the size of those files already in here so you can see 105 megabytes or something so this is the thing that i'm gonna select tap on the next and now i have a couple of options and like some sliders so you can see that i can lower the frame rate which will inevitably lower the quality but a better thing would be to lower the video dimensions and that means that you pretty much just lower the resolution and it's one of those options uh, preferably you would want to combine it for example if the frame rate is 25 you can make it 24 and it's still a watchable video however if you just don't push it too hard so you're gonna go like this perhaps i mean the video will still end up being kind of okay so of course the difference isn't going to be too big but it, the size is going to be a bit smaller so it's 105 megabytes right now i'm going to compress it and the video is going to end up being a bit smaller so that's the whole point for example if you want to upload your videos as an attachment using gmail the limit there is 25 megabytes so you have to aim for that so not only like lowering the quality but perhaps even shortening the video is going to be required for you to achieve it like i said this is definitely not the only option and if it doesn't work for you right there are plenty of others to try out for example this one right here of course all of them are going to be placed down below in the description for you to just click and install anyways here you're gonna just choose your video and again it doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you go for it for example it's gonna be this one and you have some options which are either paid for the pro or those that are free so for example here is the basic compression you can see that it turns a 68 megabytes video into a 54 one the strong conversion is going to turn it into a 34 one but it's a paid one or you can click on a custom and here is the slider and wherever it turns green you have to pay for it because it's a pro version so it can go maximum in here and you want to go like this to make it like watchable and stuff so you can turn it into a 37 megabytes video for free pretty much so compress without watermark and yeah of course these apps definitely want to make some money so they will ask for the money so you can compress it with the watermark and uh, therefore end up with a video which is smaller but has the watermark in there anyways it costs just two euros monthly if you want to pay for it or like 12 euros for a year so if you really want to do it you can pay for it and just delete the app cancel the subscription and only like get the job done so it's up to you i'm not affiliated with any of the apps i'm just showing you what's possible and the compressor apps are usually just something that they want you to pay for of course it's not a photo it's a video therefore it takes a bit longer and that video was actually kind of smaller it was just 68 megabytes but it's still taking a lot of time to just compress it i know it's not ideal but uh, these are the results that you can get using third-party apps and compressors on the iPhone it's kind of limited and therefore I would advise you to use a Mac or a computer where you have like a dedicated software editor like Premiere Pro which you can export with and set the bitrate quality and all of the measures and all the things to get the result that you need but for some quick compressions you can use those apps which are technically free but you won't get 
a lot of stuff done without paying for it. Hope this video helped you out. If you want to know how to compress photos, watch this video right here and we can see each other in the future.